not a bad looking cap. Look at that. It's a cool logo. It's got the Indians logo on the side. It's gray. Huh. May have to go with it. Hot Quarter Gift Shop is located down the third base line at Victory Field, stocked full of great merchandise representing many periods of the Indianapolis Indians history. So let's take a look inside and see what they have. Legend Razor Shines, and this is something that he wore during his stay in Indianapolis when they were a Montreal Expos affiliate. You can get that right here. Love the baby blues. This is their home whites. They've been wearing this uniform for well over 25 years. And here's the sweet Circle City jersey. Love the way the white pops up and the red outline. And this logo is classic. It should be on their home jerseys and uh, T-shirts and everything. And here's their red alternatives uh, that are also very popular. And this is something that they uh, put together in conjunction with the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a mock-up of the uh, Pirates uniforms from, I think, 1977 to sometime in 86. Pullover, black. Gold trim, classic look in any era. I like it. And these are just some of the styles you can pick up here at the gift shop. There's a lot to choose from. Okay, let's mosey our way down by the caps and let's check out the Circle City Edition merchandise. This was introduced in 2019 and this is one of my favorite type of shirts. Very soft, has a kind of retro old school look. Costs you about 40 bucks, so. Yeah, you tell me if it's worth it, but they do last a long time, and they are very comfortable to wear and stylish, and you can see a lot more here. Uh, let's go over back to those caps. Montreal Expo caps. Yeah, Indians wear an affiliate back in the 80s. This is their 60s affiliate with the blue caps, and here's the red caps, which uh, a lot of uh, future big red machine players wore in the 70s and then 80s. Well, they weren't the big red machine in the 80s, but you know what I mean. Uh, this cap, I think, was introduced in 93, 94. I could be wrong. You tell me. And uh, it's been wearing, worn ever since. Uh, trucker caps with that uh, Expos look. The powder blue is excellent. Wish more teams wore powder blue. Well, they are making a comeback. I had this hat at one time. Don't know what happened to it. I think my old roommate stole it. Had that hat too. I think my ex-girlfriend stole it. Don't know why. She wasn't a baseball fan. Here we have more caps and more styles. Circle City Edition in gray. I should have bought this cap. I was being cheap. It was only 25 bucks. Heck of a deal. You can also get it in blue with a red bill. Can't complain. More of that crooked eye. Adjustable. Kind of a neat cap. Look at that. Gray, blue, blue with red trim. All sorts of color except uh, plum. There's that uh, Pittsburgh Pirates cap. There's the Expos cap. And these are the ones that they wear on the field. These are not my style. They're a little bit too boxy on my head. And I look like a you-know-what. Here's what I like. 25% off. Who does it? But you know what? They never have my size. It's only for the small people. I'm getting a lot of weight eating too many hot dogs and regional pizzas on these videos. Oh, $10 off. But once again, small sizes. That's uh, Indianapolis Clowns cap right over, right there. Yeah, there it is. I like this cap, but too small for me. Independence Day, there's uh, Mother's Day, and that's probably Father's Day. My dad hates baseball. He's from Costa Rica. No professional Costa Rican baseball players. And here's the rest of the gift shop. Kind of small, kind of tight, but stock full of great merchandise. And uh, today's a day where I'm the only one in the gift shop. I think I scared everybody off. Nobody wants to be on video. Well, they're living in the wrong decade. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of the Indians gift shop. If you're ever in Indianapolis, check out the store. They should have something you like. So until next time, happy journey, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.